you just watch the clip and just add it like that. That's all. I'm sorry. He put out an, that extra support for them. Just follow okay. the world. He just wants it in the tabernacle. Okay. Yeah, make sure. Thank you. Thank you. The opening song is number 187, Christ the Lord is Risen Today. Please stand and join in singing number 187. Thank you for your patience, especially this morning. Not easy to get old. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. 
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Thank you. My friends, we continue this season of Easter, uh, third week, uh, during a time of peace and forgiveness, healing, hope, and joy. Uh, and once again, as always, before meeting our Lord first in the uh, scriptures, before meeting him in the breaking of bread at our altar, we seek first to be healed and to be forgiven. Again before the Lord, again before each other, uh, collectively and jointly uh, we express our sorrow. We resolve to begin anew. We ask the Lord to share with us his pardon and his peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, I greatly sin in my thoughts and in my words what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, uh, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give express our love and praise of God in song, let us now pray in word. And coming together this morning, O oh God, may your people exult forever in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption as sons and daughters of God, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. In preparation for our Liturgy of the Word this morning, uh, our commentary provides a brief introduction to each of the three readings. Uh, in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, we are reminded that the author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Then in the second reading from Scripture, also from the New Testament, from Paul's, excuse me, St. John's first letter, we are reminded that Jesus Christ is expiation, not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. And then the Gospel of Luke this morning, uh, we are told that thus it was written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had already decided to release him. You denied the Holy and the Righteous One, and you asked that a murderer be released to you instead. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are all witnesses. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he has announced beforehand through all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Peter. Yeah, maybe just read the gospel. I'll okay, call the I'm, I'm, I'm going to celebrate with you. I'm going to celebrate with you. Well, you don't have to call the ship. reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is expiation for our sins, and not only for our sins, but the sins of all the world. The way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. But those who say, I know him, and do not keep his commandments are liars and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions rise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, and it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have we anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer, rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father Shibby. <coughs> My friends, uh, again, as we continue to celebrate our Lord's resurrection on this third Sunday of the Easter season, we are reminded of each Sunday of the magnitude of this great feast. So please listen again this morning uh, to the scripture commentary which continues in these descriptive words. Whatever wonder life-changing events we might think of, the resurrection of Jesus is the most wonderful life-changing event ever. Because Jesus rose from the dead, our world is a different world. Because Jesus rose from the dead, evil and hatred and suffering have been overpowered. They still hang around, inflicting difficulties on us, but their power has been broken by the glory of the resurrection. Because Jesus rose from the dead, Death no longer has the last word over any of us. Death has been overcome by life, eternal life. Even sin will not win out, but forgiveness in Jesus' name will destroy sin. Sin and evil will keep on trying to pull us down and destroy us, but in Christ, we are raised up. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May this Easter season continue, continue, 
continue. Please join me. And once again, taking advantage of the opportunity, which is a, uh, a privilege uh, during the Easter season, in, pre <clears throat> excuse me, in replacement of the Nicene Creed, which we profess every week, uh, during the Easter season, it is most appropriate that we pray together the Apostles' Creed. So please join me. Uh, make sure I've got this in front of me too, since we haven't done this too often. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Of all of you. Uh, 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 the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, ascended into hell. The third day he arose again from the dead, ascended into heaven, and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. Believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Again, trusting in the power of the risen Jesus, let us now bring our needs to God today. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For church leaders, may the Lord guide them in caring for the physical and spiritual needs of those they serve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are struggling with their faith, may they be strengthened by the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our policemen, first responders, and those in the military. May God protect them as they carry out their duties and bring them home safely to their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our families and our parish community who are sick and for all those who care for them. May God grant them healing, relief, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in the vocations for the priesthood and to the religious life, especially in our own diocese, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our benefactors and well-wishers, both living and dead, that they may be rewarded for their generosity and sacrifice of St. Ignatius and for the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially Reverend Monsignor John Rowan and Al Stipple on the anniversary of his 20th uh, death, may they both rest in eternal peace with the Father in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our Mass this morning is offered for Frank Caron, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now for all those prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as always, for a special remembrance of all of our deceased of this past week. Uh, again, as always, our victims of war and of violence. Um, Deaths that continue in the Ukraine, in Gaza, and the violence in Haiti. The victims of natural disasters and calamities. Uh, the lone death of the trailer crash in Texas. Those who have died, on vehic died as a result of vehicular accidents on land, at sea, or in the air.
role of our deceased parishioners and benefactors here at St. Ignatius. So. For our own deceased loved ones. For the souls in purgatory, especially those who have no one to pray for them. And may we take a few more additional quiet moments, please, uh, to ask the Lord to be close to those needs deepest in our own hearts at this time. God of hope, receive these prayers this morning which we offer through Jesus Christ, your Son, and our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. Having met the Lord in these scriptures, we now prepare to meet him in the breaking of bread. The Offertory Psalm is number 535, Prayer of St. Francis, number 535. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there's sadness, ever joy. O oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in that we are pardoned. In giving of ourselves we receive. And in dying that we're born to eternal life. Pray, my friends, uh, that our sacrifice this morning, again, our usual offerings of bread and wine, your generosity in our parish collection, and last but not least, our own presence here together in prayer, praise, and worship. Let us pray that our entire sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Receive, O oh Lord, we pray, those, <clears throat> these offerings of your exultant church this morning. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us lift up our hearts.
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this Easter season above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Oh. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. We pray our third Eucharistic prayer this morning. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. <clears throat> For through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, by the working and power of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and given you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and uh, giving you thanks, he said the blessing uh, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And together, as our crucifix always reminds us, the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you go, until you come again. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Ignatius Loyola, our patron saint, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. <clears throat> Excuse me. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you this morning. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your sons and daughters scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As we begin our communion right this morning, having uh, already met the Lord in word and preparing to meet him in sacrament, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
And may the peace of the Lord be always with you. With your spirit. Thank you. Take a moment to share with each other a gesture of peace. Avia, Kimberly, thank you. Having been fed with his word, we we prepare now to be nourished with his food. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. For those of you joining us via live stream, let us pray the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you, and I unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. The song during communion is number 344, Gift of Finest Sweet, number 344. I'll take this one first. joyful lips 
Please regularly visit the upcoming section, event section of our website for important announcements and to know about the various events that are taking place around our parish. Please contact Peggy Gill to sign up to read the rosary during the month of May when we honor our Blessed Mother by praying the rosary each morning at 8.25 a.m. And for more details, please check the bulletin. 
Please check the bulletin also for details on our annual Golf Classic Early Bird Raffle tickets and support our parish by taking a chance to win some cash. Join us for the Divine Mercy Chapel on Fridays at 3 p.m. in the Adoration Chapel. And next Saturday, there'll be a patriotic rosary at 8 a.m. The bread and wine this week are being offered for all of our first communicants. The candles this week are offered in honor of the Blessed Sacrament, and the flowers this week are offered in loving memory of Martha Dower from the Iggy Girls. And please hold number 669 for the exposition and 187 for the closing, 669 and 187. As a conclusion, finally, to our reception of the Eucharist uh, uh, this morning, uh, please join me now in our very faithful commitment to the prayer of St. Michael the Archangel, please. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. How do you can we humbly pray? The thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, how Satan, will the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seek him among the souls. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people this morning, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries today may attain in our flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. And thank you again for your presence today, your participation, your attentiveness. Uh, I appreciate uh, Father Shibby uh, assisting me with the Eucharist today, and that's my final prayer. Please don't take this Mass away from me. Don't. I miss you all terribly. Let us go in peace. Six sixty nine.
die Zeit haben wir. Lord, I love thee in the most blessed sacrament. Most holy Trinity, I adore thee. My God, my God, I love thee in the most blessed sacrament. O most holy Trinity, undivided unity, O holy God, mighty God, God immortal, be adored. Omnipotent, trine God, adore and love you. My God, I love you in the most blessed sacrament. O sacrament of most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament of most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament of most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. My God, I believe, I adore, I trust and I love thee. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not trust, do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I trust and I love thee. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not trust and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I trust and I love thee. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not trust and do not love thee. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body, blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the world. Repression for the outrages, sacrileges and indifferences by which he is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart, the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. Lord, we thank you for everything, especially for coming into our hearts in the Holy Eucharist we just now received. May your word we listen today guide us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the closing song is number 187, Christ the Lord is Risen Today. Number 187, beginning with verse 3.